Hi there everybody, we're going to continue with our videos in science, technology, and society. And here, we're going to continue what we have left in our topic in the intellectual revolutions that define society. So let's get on to it. So um, we are done with the ideas of non-intellectuals. We're going to go on in this video, uh, maybe two videos, or maybe we can do it once, um, about the information revolution. And then we're going to talk about the four cradles of early science. So let's talk about this. So about the information revolution, um, we started with um, the information revolution, again, started with the Sumerian pictographs, as this picture will denote. You can see there, this is one example of a Sumerian pictograph, which is the earliest form of our writing system. Afterwards, we ended up and comes, here comes the invention of the printing press, specifically that's the Gutenberg's um, print printing press in 1455 which in effect gave us our first book which is the bible which is all specifically called the gutenberg bible so there emerged the use of typewriter and telegraph and this is it one example of it and then of course today this is the evolution from the first writing system from the sumerian pictographs going to the printing press and then of course um today what we're using is the internet Okay, so technologies are widely used, and of course, with the help of the internet, the World Wide Web, uh, we communicate and we disseminate information and also store information very much easily and share it with everybody. Okay, so that's the information revolution um, that we have had again from the Sumerian pi pictographs going to the Gutenberg's printing press, and then with uh, today with the internet. I think you're looking or you're watching this through the internet, right? <laughs> so. Next up, we're going to talk about the four cradles of the early sciences. Okay, or the early science. And the four cradles are like places. We have talked about the United Kingdom when we talked about Charles Darwin um, on our first video. And we're going to move on with these four parts of the world. So what are these? We're going to talk about um, the Mesoamerican, the Middle East, Asia, and the African. So these are the four cradles of early science. So let's talk about first the Mesoamerican. So the Mesoamerican are, there are three civilizations, at least three civilizations in the Mesoamerican. So we have, we have known the Mayans, the Incas, or the Incans, and the Aztecs, in which this picture denotes the Aztecs here. Um, I'm pretty much sure you are, you have saw one of, one or two of these examples of the Mesoamerican civilizations. Next up, we're going to talk about their contributions in the world as they were called the four cradles, one of the four cradles of the early science. So the contributions of the Mesoamericans are as follows. First, the Aztecs, talks about, talking about the Aztecs, has established a great military force. Um, the Chinamca of the Aztecs use a very small uh, or small rectangular area of fertile land to grow crops on the shallow lake bed. So this is one example of a chinamca, which the Aztecs use. Again, it's a small rectangular area of dirt fertile land and with the shallow lake beds. Okay. Also, um, going to the Mayans, the use of rubber is documented in the May in the Mayans uh, as a Mayan ball game called um, sorry if I mispronounced Tlachli. Okay, rubber as in you know the 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 wheels like that. Okay. <laughs> Just to make it clear. So this is one example of the Mayans. Playing. This is the the Tlachli. Sorry if I mispronounced that, but this is the ball wh which um, the early use of rubber is is seen. Uh, moving on, more con more contributions of the Mesoamericans. Also, the Mayans use cocoa beans as their currency. Okay, so cocoa beans, which we which we use now, of course, um, in the in the production of chocolates. The Maya developed an accurate calendar which is known as the Mayan calendar. Okay, so of course, um, we we somehow follow that the, the basics of that calendar, what we're using now is the Gregorian and the and this, uh, the Julian calendar, right? Uh, specifically the Julian calendar. The Kipos, or the Kipu in some um, in some books, they use the U, um, are used for the Incan for, the, for their bookkeeping. Okay, so these are the kipus. If you have seen my video in the history of mathematics, this this kipu is is cited as an example as one of the er, earliest um, um, calculators. Okay. Um, of course, the Chinese are or are known for the abacus. 
Also, the, the Mita system was invented by the Incas. It is a labor service that takes for in-road and bridge constructions and cultivation of corn and textile production. So these are the some, of course, of the most important contributions of the Mesoamericans as one of the four cradles of early science. Let's move on to the Middle East. So the Middle East, um, specifically in the parts of, of, um, of, of Ara Arab, um, India, and such. So, contributions of the Middle East. So, the Arab applied the Roman principles and improved the water mill known as Noria. So, this is um, pretty much mostly seen. I, I, see, I see them on movies usually. As you can see here, this is the, the wheel here. And, yeah, this is called the Noria, known as the Noria. So, the Middle East is known for their machine design, for improvement of irrigation, industrial work, and for war. So we can see the windmill and the water mill are used for crushing sugar canes, grinding grain, and then for, of course, pumping water. And we have also, we'll cite some books of what are the, the contributions to the Middle East. One book is from, uh, I'm sorry if I mispronounced this, uh, Badik al-Zaman ibn al-Razaz al-Hazari, describe candles and water clocks, also water vessels, fountains, sorry, fountains, um, automata, and water racing devices. Um, also, one other book from uh, written by, sorry if I mispronounced, Taki al-Din ibn Maruf al-Rashid al-Dimashi uh, explained the steam power and the blueprint of a six-piston pump. So these, those are some of the contributions of the Middle East, okay, as the early sciences. Let's move on to Asia. Um, specifically, um, we will um, focus on, on China since China has a lot of contributions and they're quite a big country. Um, traditional Chinese medicine um, such as acupuncture and herbal medicine were practiced. This is one example as of acupuncture. So the, we have some needles here, needles um, being pinched to you on your skin. So four great inventions of China, sorry, China. Sorry about that. Um, the compass, the gunpowder, of course, in which uh, we can see that in their firecrackers, paper making and printing. And uh, of course, um, there, there are others, um, which is a Taoist chemistry. Um, they call it the al alchemy. So this is from the Taoist. Okay, so that's some of the um, early sciences of the Asia. And then we're going to move on the African. Okay, so what are the contributions of the, sorry, this is African, my goodness. So African. Okay, I think in the last sec section, it should be Asia. My bad. Forgot to edit it, I believe. Okay, so um, for the African, what are the cont contributions of Africa? Okay, in the early sciences. So Africa is known for the production of cola nuts and coffee, okay, in Ethiopia. So n right now, cola nuts is mostly found in West, West Africa, and it's the basis for the cola drink, you know, um, all right, to serve Coca-Cola. Okay, and other cola drinks. So this is what, which is what uh, a cola, cola nuts, or cola nuts look like. But of course, coffee. Okay, these are coffees here. Sorry, this is still Africa. And um, coffee was developed as a consumable drink that spread um, to Arab Arabia, and then throughout the world. Okay, and of course, we we um, we use coffee or we drink coffee almost every day. So Africa used plants uh, with salicylic acid for pain, that is aspirin, and diarrhea, that is calpectate. Sorry if I mispronounced that. And uh, they also highly advanced in medicine. Okay, actually, they are they are highly advanced medicine, such as uh, one. They are one of those who started operating autopsies and operating cesarean, okay, procedures in giving birth. And the technology involved experimentation and drainage construction of boulders, desalination, and irrigation. Okay, um, the evidences of this was found in 1978 to suggest that they also um, already mastered um, creating steels, okay, even before um, the creation of steels was, was established in, in Europe. Okay, so um, those are just some of the um, uh, early sciences or contributions of the four cradles of early sciences. Again, again, um, before we end, we have four, the Mesoamerica, Middle East, Asia, and African. For the Mesoamerican, we have here, salient points are the Chinamca, the Teralchi, 
uh, making use of the kipos, okay, and the cocoa beans as currency. For the Middle East, um, the use of the noria is very much explained or very much um, um, highlighted. The windmill, the water mill, okay. For the Asia, the acupuncture, herbal medicine, um, gunpowder, compass, paper making, printing, and alchemy. For the African, some of the highlights were the use of cola nuts, coffee, okay, salicylic acid for pain and diarrhea, um, autopsies, cesareans, and then making of steels. Okay, so that's the end of this video for... Actually, we have uh, we have hit two topics, information revolution, which is quite short, and the four cradles of early science, which are namely the uh, Mesoamerican, Middle East, Asia, and Africa. Okay, so um, thank you for watching. Actually, that's the end of our um, intellectual revolutions defined society. Hopefully, you learned something from this. Um, make sure if you haven't seen the first two videos, there are two videos before this. Um, Can you check them out so that you can see the whole um, perspective of, of this topic? And before we end, I just want to let everyone see that these are my sources of the things that I was have have had talked about. So um, make sure to try to see them, or, or sorry, try to um, check them out, okay, um, so that you can see the firsthand um, information. So not everything that I have said here are are mine, okay. So um, that's the end of this. Uh, hopefully you will like this and um, also share this with your classmates and also with your colleagues so thank you very much for watching um, please hit the like button and also subscribe okay so see ya